All right, to the Middle East now, where two Hamas terrorists opened fire in Jerusalem, and the men who were brothers were both killed by police and an armed citizen. Israel and Hamas agreed to extend their ceasefire by another day as a new group of hostages was released by Hamas. Fox News correspondent Nate Foy is in northern Israel with the latest after the deadly shooting. My heart goes out to the victims of this attack. <laughs> Four Israelis are dead after two Hamas gunmen opened fire in Jerusalem this morning. As Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. I told him, we swore and I swore to eliminate Hamas. Nothing will stop us. Blinken then met with Mahmoud Abbas of the Palestinian Authority, discussing ways to accelerate humanitarian aid into Gaza and improve security for Palestinians in the West Bank. <laughs> this mother is weeping tears of joy, finally reunited with her daughter, 21-year-old Mia Shem, released by Hamas terrorists today with 40-year-old Amit Susana and six other Israeli hostages. But the joy of coming home can quickly turn into grief. On her first day back in Israel, American-Israeli mother Liat Benin learned Hamas terrorist murdered her husband on October 7th. She'll raise their three children alone. But Israel is united against Hamas and ready for whenever this ceasefire ends. We are going to fight Hamas till we prevail, no matter how long it takes. Knowing whatever comes next in Gaza will be scrutinized by the international community. Secretary Blinken said tonight that Israel must take steps to protect the innocent civilians in Gaza whenever the fighting does resume. Tomorrow's the eighth consecutive day of the temporary ceasefire. In northern Israel, Nate Foy, Fox News.